Rim Selection It is important to always mount a tire on a rim that is approved for it. Not only must the width be correct, but also the flange contour, i.e. DW, DD, F, L, must be the one recommended for the tire in question. Use of a rim wider than recommended Using a wider rim results in flattening of the tread face. This effect may improve traction in some looser soil conditions. In hard soils, however, the flatter tread penetrates less effectively and tractive effort is reduced. Additional stresses concentrated in the shoulder area tend to increase the rate of shoulder tread wear. By spacing the tire beads farther apart, the side walls are forced to flex in an area lower than normal and this can result in circumferential carcass breaks and separation. Use of a rim narrower than recommended this condition brings potential mounting problems because the rim shield or flange cover molded into most drive tire designs tends to interfere with the seating of the tire beads on a narrow rim. Once mounted on a narrow rim, the tire rim shield applies undue pressure on the rim flange with possible tire sidewall separation or premature rim failure at the heel radius. On a narrow rim the tread of the tire is rounded. As with the overinflated tire, tread wear will be concentrated in the center area of the tread and traction in the field will be reduced.